So we're going to take a look at the FX Master category inside Premiere Pro FX. So inside the category, you're going to get a bunch of different visual effects categories. And the cool thing about the FX Master Studio is that you are going to get full sound design mixes attached to the effect. And you see, we have a basic shot here. And wherever you put your marker in the timeline is where the endpoint of this effect is going to begin. And you can fix and change this and move it around. So if I go into camera shakes category for a minute, I can highlight over the thumbnail, get a preview of the effect, or I can hit the preview all button. Now I'm just going to stop the preview all and I'm going to select an effect, double click. Now you're going to see the effect along with several different sound effects layers. And these are all individual sound designs for this particular effect. Now in this case, we have seven layers. And now if I just highlight all my sound layers along with visual effects layer, and I can just roll it over my entire shot, you're going to see that the sound design along with the effect is going to extend over that shot. So now if I play this, The work is all done, the visual effects along with the sound design. And in this case, if you want no sound, just go up top to the right hand corner and the last icon here, which is lit, the little musical note icon, we just hit that button to shut off the sound. If we double click on an effect, you're going to see we're just going to get the visual effect layer and no sound attached. And again, I'm just going to fit this to my shot. So for now, I'm just going to delete that because the fun with the FX Master Studio is that you have a full sound design mix attached to the effect. So there are a ton of different glitches, both heavy and light. I'm just going to select a glitch effect. And you can always, of course, use this between two shots. In this case, I can roll the in and out points of this effect to just go over these two shots for an example. And you can see how the sound mix is going to extend along with the effect. And we're going to move on to some dreamy effects category. And this particular category may be a little bit longer in terms of render, but I'm going to choose a dreamy effect. Take your marker and your timeline. That's where the end point is going to begin of the effect. So I'm going to double click and just play. And I'm not doing a render here. And moving on, I'm going to do the lens distortion. And so you're just going to repeat highlighting your effect that you like, double click over your shot. Check out some VHS looks. There's a ton of different VHS effects. Take a look at the shot. Pretty basic. Take my marker, place where I want the effect to begin. Double click. And again, you're going to get a starting point of that effect in sound. So you can extend both the visual and audio design or you can decrease it. In this case, I'm just going to increase it to the shot here. We've got a nice VHS look. All these visual effects can be modified as well. And you go into your effects control panel you're going to see all the different effects that create the final look of that effect. And you can shut the effects off. You can readjust the effects. 
In this case, if I went to time code and just change the time code effect a little bit, you're going to have the flexibility. You're not stuck with that effect. So you can change whatever you see fit. And go in, readjust the color. Change the crop. The FX Master Studio is both visual and sound effect design ready to go. Enjoy.